All right, hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on Truman boots and how to size in Truman boots. Um, it's probably the question that I get asked the most on my Instagram and in my DM feed is how to size in Truman boots. And sizing is a hard issue. You know, even uh, the boot makers themselves have a hard time telling people what size to purchase and you know when we're ordering things online it can be hard it can be stressful and um i've collected about 11 or 12 pairs of truman boots over the years and so i'm just kind of going to give my anecdotal take on how to size in truman boots um, i've vacillated on this myself there's a lot of factors at play as well the dimensions of how your foot sits inside the boot it's going to be dramatically different from person to person so uh, i'm just going to do this video i haven't done it till now just because it's kind of daunting i mean i have so many pairs of boots and to compare one boot to the next one brand to the next is really kind of difficult but i'm going to do my best so <laughs> i've taken some notes actually for this video so and keep in mind everything in this video is just my opinion i would say that first and foremost consult truman because they make the boots they're the experts they know what's best in terms of sizing advice. They know the intimate details of how they construct these boots and the, the dimensions, the lengths, the widths, the measurements, and all this. Take their sizing advice. I believe that it's gonna be correct for 98% of everybody, probably 99% of everybody. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to bring up is early on in my boot collecting journey, I, I listened to this guy on YouTube. He, his name is The Boot Guy. He said something that kind of affected me. That, that I found very profound. He said, never let anybody tell you how to size in your boots. I always keep that in the back of my mind because <clears throat> it's true. I've had so many salespeople at different stores and stuff measure my foot and tell me to take a size that frankly I find to be just too small, too constricting. Typically people, in my experience, they always have sized me wrong. And I know how I like things to fit, and it's a personal thing. How you like to size in boots is very much your opinion and very much a personal thing. Another thing I wanna mention is more than one size works for people. There is no such thing as a perfect size. There's just a size that's perfect depending on how much your foot is swollen at, a, at any given point throughout the day. You probably know this already, that at the beginning of the day when you wake up, your blood pressure is low, so your, your foot is not nearly as swollen as say at 4 p.m. after you've been at work all day, your foot's gonna be a lot more swollen, your blood pressure is gonna be a lot higher, and this is also gonna affect how everything fits, not just your boots, but your clothes and everything. So, <laughs> so there is no one size that works for people. Multiple sizes can work. You know, I've worn eight and a half D, eight and a half E, eight and a half triple E, 9D, I've, wo I've worn a lot of different sizes and a lot of different sizes work. They just work in different ways. So I, wanna, I wanted to throw that out there as well. Another thing that I noticed is a lot of people when they, when they take pictures and when they compare boot sizes, they're comparing the left boot in, in one brand to the right boot of another brand. And one thing that I'll ask you to do right now actually is take any pair, any one pair of your boots and compare them, hold them up side by side. Take the left boot and the right boot, hold them up side by side. They're gonna actually be different sizes. The length and the width is gonna be just a little bit off because these are handmade items. So there isn't even consistency within the same brand. You know what I mean? So that's something else to take into consideration with handmade things. Compare the left boot to the right boot, they'll be different. When I'm comparing boots between brands, what I like to do is I like to actually take both the left boots and both of the right boots. I'm gonna compare Viberg to Truman. I'm gonna take the left boots and compare just the left boots to one another and see how those measure up, how those stack up. And that's how I do it. And then I'll compare the right boots to the right boots. I never compare the left boot to the right boot because typically in my experience, I think if I recall correctly, usually the left boot is like just a little bit longer than the right boot, which is strange because most people's right foot is larger. So you'd think the right boot would be <laughs> slightly larger. So yeah, there's no such thing as a perfect size. Why do I say that? Your foot swells throughout the day. Also, something that I noticed recently is weight loss can affect how your how your foot fits inside the boot as well. I've always been told that shoe size increases with age, but I don't know if that's true. I think what does normally increase with age, your weight normally increases with age. So that's why I think they say that your shoe size can increase with age. Again, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think your shoe size would increase with how much weight you've gained because I've recently lost a little bit of weight and I noticed that a lot of my, not just my pants are fitting looser, but my boots fit looser as well. Because when you lose weight, your body's just not just losing 
body fat around your stomach. You're losing a lot of weight in different ways. Junky proteins, as far as I understand, this can include skin. Y your body will actually reduce the amount of skin that you have. It'll reduce the amount of veins and capillaries and things. So all throughout your body, as you lose weight, you're not just losing fat, you're losing other things, proteins. So that could also account for why your foot shrinks as you lose weight. Also take into account that if you weigh less, it would make sense that then your foot to sort of stay in balance with the rest of your body, it would shrink as well. So yeah, so I lost some weight. My shoe size has shrunk slightly in tandem with my waist. You have to take into account sock thickness, the time of the day. So my Truman size is usually going to be eight and a half, but I have worn nine. These are size nine Trumans. Some people prefer a snug fit. Others prefer a generous fit. I prefer a generous fit. I'm one, I like a generous fit because I'm particular about my blood circulation. And I find that if the boots are too snug, they cut off my circulation and I hate that. Comfort is my priority. Everybody has their own individual preferences, which is something to take into account. Another thing I wanted to mention, it's not always useful to compare boot brands to one another because I don't find that the lasts always translate well from one boot brand to another. It's hard to say, oh, well, I wear this size and an Alden True Balance, what size of Truman should I wear? That's not always easy because the Alden True Balance last doesn't translate directly into the last that Truman uses, the C79 last, they call it now. The reason being, with Aldens, it's a semi-dress boot. You have a collapsed toe, it's an unstructured toe here, so it's collapsed, so less volume here. And then the heel is slightly gonna be a little bit more narrow. So this is sort of a semi-dress boot, but then with the Trumans, their last is more of a, a classic American work boot. So that doesn't always translate well. And, and a lot of the sizing advice, it depends on the angle that you're coming from. What brand do you normally buy? A lot of guys are Red Wing aficionados, so they collect Red Wing and they ask, oh, well, my Red Wing size is this, how do I size in Truman? But my angle has always been Alden. How do I size compared to my Alden boots? That's always been my question. So if you haven't bought boots yet, how do you even begin to know what size to buy in boots? <laughs> so yeah, what does add volume to the Trumans, I think, are the structured toe and the bulbous heel. That heel is pretty bulbous compared to the Aldens and the Grantstone heel, which is a little bit more narrow there. Like I said, I've vacillated on what size to wear in Truman boots. The other thing to take into account is the leather thickness. There's just so many things to take into account. But essentially, I started sizing in Truman with an eight and a half, which is the same size that I wear in other boot brands, Alden and Viberg. Now, I could go down from an eight and a half in Alden and an eight and a half in Viberg. I could go down to an 8D. So keep that in mind because the eight and a half in Alden and Viberg that I wear is generous. It's a generous fit. Th that's good, but it doesn't always translate well in Truman if, the, if it has the structured toe. Sometimes in a size nine, it is too big for me. Um, and that is what they recommend to go up a half size. And sometimes the nine has been too big. I started out with an eight and a half in Truman's. Eventually though, when they started selling their, their dressier horse rump boots, so their, their navy horse rump, the, the Tuscanello horse rump, they built their boots with an unstructured toe, like you can see here. For these, I sized up to a size nine and the fit was perfect. In a size nine, they fit like the Aldens did in an eight and a half because they had, a, they had the unstructured toe, slightly more sleek of a look. And so that was really good. But then I went ahead and I think when I got my moose hides in a 9D, when the moose hides got in, they were a little bit too big. Then I ordered the China Blue Waxy Commanders in size nine. Those were a little bit too big, so I, I switched. I went, uh, I sold those two pairs because they were just too big, and I switched back to eight and a half. Now the eight and a half with the structured toe fits me perfectly. They are not too big, they're not too tight. I could wear them with thin socks, and the fit is, is great. It, it has been very tough. I've been going back and forth between what size to wear, but what I've been able to, over the years, pick up on is that, yeah, eight and a half seems to be my size in every boot brand that seems to be the sweet spot. Like I can order an eight and a half, if they run large, they won't be too big. And if they run small, they won't be too small. Eight and a half just seems to always 
work for me no matter what. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to show a lot of different boots from a lot of different brands and I'm going to compare them against a lot of my different Truman boots and I'm going to explain each boot. I'm just going to take a lot of footage and I'm going to try to do my best to show my Truman boots next to every brand that I have to kind of give it a good idea of how they size. And so hopefully that can help people because, <laughs> because it is, it is kind of stressful. It's stressful buying boots and it's stressful knowing how to size from brand to brand. And, uh, one thing that I'll, I'll say that does have a big impact on how a boot fits is the thickness of the hide. So, Truman uses a lot of thick hides, and I noticed that that really ends up having a dramatic impact on how how much room is left on the inside of the boot. It's not something that people typically take into account is the thickness of the leather that they're using. So like these Vibergs here, the leather that they use, it's such thick Chrome XL and the rough out on the inside also has an impact on how they fit as well. My Mark Albert boots in Whiskey Shell Cordovan, those, the leather is so thin that actually the fit is kind of generous Whereas if, if those same boots were built, say with, you know, a thicker leather, like Coyote Rough Out or Chrome Excel, they would have fit more snug. So, but because the, the leather is so thin, the fit is a little bit more generous. So that's another thing to take into account. It's not just the size all the time. Sometimes it's the leather itself. What I'm about to do is I'm about to show a lot of photos and a lot of pictures of all, basically all my Trumans next to all my boots and it's going to be difficult <laughs> but hopefully I could explain the sizing situation well hopefully that can alleviate a lot of confusion out there and again I mean the sizing question it's such a difficult thing Nick at Stridewise actually he published a whole article on how to size and he even he went and interviewed a, a podiatrist and asked his opinion on it and everything. I'll, I'll include the link to that below. The other thing that I wanna throw out there is these boot brands, they work around the clock with their customer service to answer your sizing questions. It's something that the boot manufacturers themselves struggle with constantly. Go to the manufacturer first. Don't, don't take my word as this is stamped in stone, but I'm just gonna show visually and kinda talk through how I've sized in Truman's up till now and hopefully that can, that can help Let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, so starting out, we've got Viberg Service Boots in color 8 Chrome XL in size 8.5 next to Truman Boots in Tuscanello Horse Rump in size 9D. And as you can see, the length is just about the same. Actually, in 8.5, the Vibergs are maybe even a little bit longer. Um, and as you can see on that 2030 last, it's sort of almond-shaped at the toe there at the tip. So just keep that in mind, the Truman Boots P79 last is a bit more rounded at the toe. Yeah, for the most part, the fit is about the same. Eight and a half Viberg, nine Truman there, both unstructured toe. And next up, we've got the right boot of the Tuscanello Horse Rump Trumans and the Color 8 Chrome Excel Vibergs 2030 last. And again, yeah, I'm trying to line it up, position it just right. Truman's sizing guide, they say to size up a half size compared to your Viberg size. So again, eight and a half Vibergs, half size up from that is gonna be nine in the Truman's. And this is why Truman recommends this. And one thing about the Truman last and the Viberg last that I find very similar are the heel counters. The heels on both boots feel pretty much the same. The vamp, not so much, but the heel on both boots is very similar feeling, very generous fitting. Okay, so here we go. So here's my Alden Vintage Indies in eight and a half D on the True Balance last, next to Truman Boots in Navy Horse Rump in size 9D. And as you can see, the length is about the same. The width on the Aldens might be maybe just a hair more wide, but for the most part, um, they fit pretty much the same eight and a half Alden, nine Truman. Again, this is their Truman 79 last. So again, for Alden, they recommend Take your Alden size and size up a half size for Truman. And these are the left boots. Again, I'm comparing the left boot to the left boot and the right boot to the right boot. I'm never comparing the left boot to the right boot because in my opinion, that, that's just not the best way to get the most accurate depiction of how to size from brand to brand. Now we got the right boot. Truman Navy Horse Rump size 9D next to Alden Vintage Indie Boot True Balance Last 8.5D. And again, as you can see, they're about the same length. The fit is just about the same. Both have unstructured toe, so the feel when they're on my foot is about the same. Referencing the Truman sizing chart for the 79 last, 
For Alden, you go a half size up from your Alden size. Okay, here we go. My Thoroughgood roofer boots or portage boots in eight and a half. These are in Indigo Chrome XL. Actually, Indigo died. Eight and a half next to Truman's in size eight and a half. P79 last. Structured toe moss waxy mohawk boots. And as you can see here, I think that they are about the same length. Actually, they don't reference Thoroughgood on Truman's sizing guide. So I would say take your Thoroughgood size. Again, I would actually ask Truman directly yourself what size you would take, but I would say, based on this, just by my eye, I would say take your Thoroughgood size because these Thoroughgood roofers in 8.5 fit pretty much the same as these Trumans in 8.5D. The Thoroughgood roofers might be actually a hair more wide, and the, and the roofer boots are known for running wide. All right, and here's some boot size comparison that you don't get too often. These are my new Mark Albert boots in Coyote Roughout, right up against my Truman boots in Java Wax Flesh. Both are size 8.5D. As you can see, the Mark Alberts appear to be just about the same length, but the width is a little bit more narrow. So I think if, if I were pressed, I might say to take your same Mark Albert size as your Truman size, maybe up it maybe up your Mark Albert size if you have wide feet to an E, which is what I've done in the past, because I do find that they fit a little bit more narrow. But yeah, these were my first pair of Mark Albert, so I ordered the D-width. Every pair of boots that I've ordered from Mark Albert since then has been an E-width. All right, and next up we've got the Truman boots in black chrome XL, size 8.5D, next to the Alden Innsbruck Indie boots in brown chrome XL in size 8.5D. The Trumans have a structured toe, the Aldens have the unstructured toe there. And this was my first pair of Truman boots. This was when they were still building the boots in Pennsylvania. And these are still one of my favorite pairs of Trumans. This was one of their earliest models and it's actually taller than any of my other Truman boots. You might also notice that these black ones have eight eyelets, whereas the new Truman boot models all have seven eyelets. So again, this was their earliest model from what I remember. All right, up next we've got Truman boots in Java Waxed Flesh, 8.5D, next to Wolverine Thousand Mile Boots, 8.5D in Gray Suede. And I gotta say, I think the fit in these is pretty comparable. This is my only pair of Wolverine, so I'm not too well versed in how to size with this brand, but I am happy with the fit in both of these in 8.5D. I think the length looks about the same. The width might be a little wider on the Wolverines there. You can see the vamp there. They appear to be a little bit wider by my eye. And the heel on the Wolverines is going to be slightly more narrow. Like I said, Truman's, the Truman heel is very generous fitting. And that's a good thing for my foot. I find it very comfortable for my foot. You can fit a tennis ball back there. I would actually say that the Truman heel is pretty comparable to the Viberg heel. All right, up next, I've got my Truman, Truman boots in Java Wax Flesh next to my Red Wing Mock Toe boots in Copper Rough and Tough. Both are eight and a half D. And I gotta say, I find the fit pretty comparable. Truman's size guide says to go up a half size from your Red Wing size. That would have put me at a nine D, but as you can see here, the Red Wings appear to be a little bit shorter in length and about the same width. So, but then again, Truman's advice in this case, they might be referring to a different Red Wing last. Now I am not too well versed with Red Wing. This is my only pair of Red Wings. Truman on their size guide might have been referring to the Iron Ranger. I'm not too sure. I tried on the Iron Rangers once in 8.5D and they were pretty snug. S more snug I'd say than the Trumans by my recollection, but I would say that the, this particular pair of Red Wings in 8.5D fits pr pretty comparably to the Trumans. All right, up next we've got Red Wing Mock Toe Boots 8.5D next to Truman Boots in Tuscanello Horse Rump, size 9D. And again, you can see that the Trumans are a bit longer. I would say that the heel's more generous fitting in the Trumans. The length is, yeah, again, probably a little bit longer. And again, I am not very well versed with the Red Wing at all. So, but in terms of the mock toe, the mock toe does, I would say, appears at least a little bit smaller, but that mock toe, that toe, obviously the vamp is very elevated. It's very raised compared to the Truman's unstructured toe here. And actually these Red Wings did shrink a little bit. After all the washing I did, I, I wore them for a house project recently and yeah, the toe needed to stretch out a little bit after, after washing them so much. All right, and here we go. We have Grant Stone Ottawa boots in natural shell cordovan, otherwise known as 
honey glazed shell cordovan. That's on the Grant Stone Leo Last up against the Truman Boots in Navy Horse Rump C79 Last Unstructured Toe. Both are unstructured toe. And I find the fit to be pretty comparable. You can see, yeah, again, Grant Stone's eight and a half, Truman size nine. Truman doesn't actually recommend how to size compared from Grant Stone compared to Truman. So I would say that, yeah, follow the, their advice for Alden here. And I would say to take your Alden advice that Truman offers. So half up from Alden. And I think that'll, that'll be good. All right, here we have the Truman boots in black Chrome XL up against Alden vintage Indy boots. Both are size eight and a half. And one of the main differences that I want to point out between the shapes of the last between Alden and Truman is the Alden True Balance last is generous fitting in the toe area, in the vamp. And more specifically, what I mean by this is Aldens are known for being wide in the toe, whereas the Truman boots are more generous fitting in the heel, whereas the Truman toe vamp area seems to be pretty average width and the Alden heel seems to be pretty average width. That's one of the main distinctions that I would make between the two brands. Okay, and here's two that are horse of the same color here. <laughs> All right, so these are Truman Boots and Moss Waxy Mohawk Structured Toe 8.5D up against my Mark Albert Boots in Forest Kudu in 8.5E. And as you can see, yeah, I've been taking E in Mark Albert just because I found that they run a little bit more narrow. And you can see here the Mark Alberts on the right in E are about the same width as the Trumans in D. So I think Trumans are a little bit more generous in the width there, which I do not complain about. And uh, yeah, both are structured toe. You can kind of see that there. Mark Alberts are on the Christie Wedge sole. Trumans are on the Commando sole. Here's my Vibergs in Color 8 Chrome XL, 8.5D up against Trumans, structured toe. P79 last. 8.5D. As you can see, the Vibergs are longer, but because of that structured toe, you can see it real good there. You see the Vibergs have less room in the toe box there compared to the Truman. So, so yeah, I would say that the fit from eight and a half on both of these is pretty different. It just is a different feel altogether. Length again on the Trumans is going to be a little bit shorter, but you see all that volume there in the toe on the Trumans. That's where I get into trouble by sizing in 9D with Trumans is because with that added toe box volume, it, it just ends up being too big. All right, and here is something I don't talk about very often. Here are my Nike running shoes. These are in size 9D. I got these from J. Crew. I don't know the Nike model it is or anything like that, but they're 9D up against my Truman boots and Navy horse rump in size 9D. And you can see that, I, again, I know nothing about sneakers. The, they're pretty small compared to the boots. I don't know how sneakers are supposed to fit in comparison with boots. These running shoes fit me fine in 9D, and uh, yeah, this is just what they look like compared to my Trumans. All right, so here's my Trumans in Squirrel Rambler, size 8.5D, up against Nike running shoes in size 9D, and I picked blue to go with blue so that you can hopefully get a good color contrast going on there as well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's hard to compare the two, but they both fit me well, so that's all I can say about that. <laughs> okay, here's probably one of the best comparisons you can make right here. So Viberg Service Boots, 8.5D, Burgundy, or Color 8 Chrome XL up against Size 9 Truman Boots Collapsed Toe, 9D. And as you can see, they pretty much are the same. They look almost the same. I think that the fit and the feel of both of these is pretty much almost the same. Again, the Viberg that has more of that pointed almond toe at the at the tip of the service boot there on their 2030 last. The Trumans is maybe a little bit more rounded out in the toe, but overall, I think even in 9D, the Trumans might be just a hair shorter than the Vibergs in eight and a half. So again, I would I would definitely agree with Truman's advice on these. All right, next we've got two pairs of boots made out of horse. On the left, we've got the Truman boots in Tuscanello horse rump, size 9D unstructured toe, next to the Grant Stone Ottawa boots in honey glaze shell cordovan, otherwise known as natural shell cordovan. And those are in size eight and a half D Leo last. Here we have the Alden in Innsbruck Indie Boots, 8.5D, next to the Trumans in the same Tuscanello Horse Rump, size 9D. Get a little visual there, about the same width feeling in the toe there, and but overall two completely different feeling boots. All right, and here we've got the Truman Boots, 8.5D, 
moss waxy mohawk next to the grant stone leo last natural shell cordovan boots in eight and a half d get a good side by side comparison there again they're just two completely different feeling boots on the foot there is no really good translation from last to last here so but hopefully the visuals can sort of give you a fair representation of what's going on all right and to close out here's an image of my brand new truman boots in coach rambler this is a pair that i've had my eyes on for years now finally pulled the trigger on these super happy with these haven't worn them yet be on the lookout for the review of these here soon so but anyways this is going to finish it for now i hope you guys found this informative again this was a long overdue video i've been meaning to do this for a really long time so again i hope i hope this is informative i hope this sort of answers a lot of questions and uh, anyways thanks a lot for watching guys and i will see you in my next video